I left the headlight on in my Prius, I think it's a 2008, for about half an hour. And I wasn't sure if that would drain the car battery, which is the hybrid battery, or the small battery that is used to start the car. But if you want to check it the way that it's recommended, you just press power, power on the car. And then uh, you go into the multi-function display. Apparently what you have to do, you have to hold on to this and turn your uh, lights on three times. Turn it on, off, on, off, on, off. So you have to do this three times. So hold the button, turn it one time, two times three times and then you can see that it went into this mode here and press the menu button and you press display check and then you press vehicle signal check and then you can see that the battery is at 12.7 volt I have driven the car since I left the headlights on so it probably recharged but uh, I'm not sure if the headlight runs off the small battery. Probably not. So I'm okay, 12.7. The battery was replaced uh, about five months ago. And um, the car's been sitting for uh, about 10 hours uh, after it's been switched off. So um, it's at 12.7 so that's good it's not under load but you don't really have to do a load test to make sure that it is good or bad when you turn the car on um, it will uh, drop because it will be under load um, probably go to 12.4 or something I would think uh, okay let's turn the car on Okay, I just step on the brake and um, it's at 12.6, so that's not bad. You can check the battery voltage by going to the fuse box here. The fuse box is a little difficult to open, uh, you have to know where to press. And there's a catch here at the front here, you have to press it in. So this is the old-fashioned way to check the voltage. You actually should wait for a couple of hours before checking the uh, standby voltage of your battery. So let's just assume that we waited. So put your probe in the positive. Twelve point nine seven. So when the battery has been sitting for a while, it will go to about 12.7 and when it is under load, it will go a bit lower. Another way of checking the voltage is to use a meter like this and just clamp your clamp to a bolt that is connected to the chassis and then uh, probe your red positive to the positive terminal you can see it's uh, 13 volts and that, that's that's good and uh, you don't really have to care about uh, whether it is 12.5 uh, or 12.2 or what as long as you get between the amber and the green you're okay and anything under that when all you have is just the red then it's probably time or any anything that is between the red and the amber then it's probably time to consider a battery so my battery is new so that's good you don't have to worry about whether it's under load or no load um, green is 12.5 Amber is 12, 12 volt, and anything below that, when you just have the red and the orange, uh, that's your battery is not in top shape, and that's for when your car's been 
sitting for like two hours after you finish driving your car. So that's uh, that would be my way of checking it rather than using the multi-display um, inside the car. They are a little different for each car, but this is pretty much the same for I think all the different models. To check if uh, see if you're charging or if your alternator is good, um, you open up this positive here. Put your positive probe. Turn your meter to 20, uh, 20 volts or less, and put one end of your probe to your positive and the other probe to ground. and it should read 14 volts so 14 volts is good and you probably should know how to take off the cover because uh, you would probably need to jump your car someday and this is mm, this is where you uh, take the connection the positive and then the negative to a uh, grounding screw a bolt they recommend naturally a bolt all the way across the, the car to the other side so maybe there's less chance of you shorting out the car when you're doing this which is which wouldn't be a good thing okay let's put back the, the cover here like i said it's a little tricky to uh, to take off the box especially in the dark Not as simple as like this lawn mower that I have. This is a Keystar lawn mower. I press a button I, because I put in this voltmeter and it gives you the voltage. And some of the older cars that I have have voltmeters and amp meters right, at, right on the dashboard there. But with the Prius, you have to go into like a display menu and go into menu, turn your lights on and off three times and then go through another set of procedures to get to uh, signal check or whatever and then you get to see your battery voltage 